Chef Cell was recorded on a cell phone in front of a fake audience. Hey guys, Chef Cell right here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> Week six, right? Week six. We're going around the country. The 50 most Googled recipes by state. We are up to C, we're going alphabetically. This week, in week six, it is Connecticut. Listen to what they want. This is great. It's an Italian, really an Italian specialty actually, but it's delicious. You ready? Clam, bacon. I added the spinach. Three cheese. Pizza. I gotta get right into it. Before I do though, let's get this out of the way. Here, subscribe, boom, and hit the bell. You'll get the next show. We're getting a big reaction to this. It's great. This one's a little weird. People are kind of like, oh, you know, I don't think, uh, you know, I don't think clams on a, on a pizza when you got the cheese. Oh, it doesn't go together. Oh, I'm out, I'm out. I got two words for you. Try it. <laughs> All right, listen. So to make the dough, very simple. You don't need a machine. You don't need a special talent. This is really, really easy. You could, don't listen to all these, um, you know, people that make the machine saying you need a machine. You need a bowl and a bowl. That's all you need. You get your dry and your wet. What's in the wet? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> in this bowl, very simple, warm water, 400 grams or a cup and three quarters, something like that. I say something like that because as you knead the dough, and you are going to have to knead it just a little bit, all right, you're going to add a little bit of flour, you know, maybe a tiny bit of water, but mostly just a little bit of flour because you want it to be on the wet side once it goes to the bench. Yeah, all right. So, where was I? After the water, about a tablespoon of rapid yeast, rapid rise yeast, not regular yeast, and a, and a little, little pinch of sugar so the yeast eats the sugar and it pops up as you can see. I'm going to show you. I had this about five, 10 minutes, and it's showing little signs of puffness. All right, easy. And in here, I have about three and a half cups of flour, just AP flour, it's not a big deal. AP flour, about two teaspoons of salt or 17 grams. And as far as the grams on the flour goes, you wanna go maybe 500 grams, something like that. Get it close, you don't have to be perfect, like me. <laughs> Before I tell you about the tablespoon of oil, because I know you're all wondering what's behind that thing that I can't see, put your oven on. When it hits 200 degrees, turn it off. You're gonna rise in there. Now, I got my pans all set up because while it's rising, we're gonna prepare our clams, our spinach. You'll see, you'll see. But let's make this dough. Let's get this dough out of the way and get it going. All right, here we go. Get that oil in there, done. That's the yeast in the water and a little pinch of sugar, and that's it. And I told you about the dry, right? That I, if I didn't tell you about the salt, which I probably did put salt in there. And then just pour this in, not slowly, not work it in, just, just throw, dump it in, you know, do the dump. Yeah. <laughs> and now you just wanna mix. How hard is this? Not hard at all, see? I'll tilt, I'll tilt it for you, just mix it. No folding, no craziness, just mix it. All right, I'm gonna keep going here until it forms kind of like a ball. And then we're gonna just throw it over here. We're gonna throw it over here and knead it a little bit. And then as it's rising, about an hour and a half for that rise, in the oven that I told you to put the 200, then turn it off, I'm gonna keep repeating things, you know, so you don't have to like rewind, like, what did he say? Did he say put it in the oven? No, he said preheat. <laughs> he said put it in the oven. You know what I mean? Just that's the way it goes, right? And it's almost done already, as far as this part. And then you have to knead it. And you know the kneading is not a long process. I'd say about five minutes. You just want it to get smooth and elastic. And that's what we're going for here. Now what you want to do? Get some bench flour down. I know it doesn't really look like a bench, but this is what they call it. You want, you want to be a cool pizza guy? Call it a bench. <laughs> <laughs> and wear an apron, especially if you're wearing black and working with white stuff. 
<sighs> the way my mommy brought me up. Mommy, what did you do? And just throw this out there, and it's going to be kind of chunky and lumpy when you first do it, but when you're done with the kneading, I'll sh which I'll show you, it's going to look uh, smooth. It's going to be smooth and elastic. So let me go. Now, as you're kneading it, it's probably going to be a little bit wet. Just keep adding a little bit of this flour as you go and roll it around in the flour that remains on the countertop or the bench as I call it. So let me finish this and I'll show you the next step. Very easy. Okay, here it is, see? Whole different deal now. Look how smooth. And here, down, flip, coat it with that oil. And get a little bit of this wrap here, saran wrap, I think they call it, right? And you don't want to make it like airtight or anything. You just, you just don't want it to dry out as it's rising in that nice warm oven there. And go like that, bing, bang, boom. Nice and loose, no problem. Put it right in there. Now, here's another thing I want you to have. If you don't have it, you can use a non-rimmed cookie sheet but get it for next time because it's gonna make all the difference for the crispy, crispy crust that you're gonna have, okay? Uh, it's somewhere here. Pizza stone, right here. So I want you to put that pizza stone in this oven. You don't have to do it now, obviously. You just wanna leave this alone because she's rising on you, Johnny. 500 degrees on the oven, put this in there and let it heat up a half hour after you're done using the oven for the rising, of course. And it gives you a nice crisp, like I told you, and that's what you really want. And when you cook this thing, mm, between like five and 10 minutes, she's gonna be done. You're gonna do about three minutes, open it up, two long gloves, please. Rotate the pizza 180 degrees. It's like driver's ed. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back in another couple of minutes. You, just, you can do it by eye. You can lift it up with an oven glove and just look on the bottom. You wanna almost brown, almost getting their brown kind of color. You'll see. I'll show, I'm going to show you. So wh why am I trying to explain when I'm going to show? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put this little baby on. And we're going to slice up our bacon. It's a 10-ounce package of bacon, any kind of bacon you want. It could be thick. It could be thin. It could be in the middle, whatever you want. So I'm going to slice that up. I'm going to fry it up in here. And like I said, while this is rising, you know, you, you got time to do things. And then we're going to put a little garlic in here and a big one. Yeah. And we're going to kind of just, just the cloves, maybe two or three cloves of garlic in the oil, about maybe two or three tablespoons. Get that clove nice and brown, right? Flip it over a couple of times, keep it in there. And we have some baby spinach. So this is another 10 ounce. It looks like eight bushels, but when you're done, you can fit it in a thimble. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> So that's gonna go in here, but you wanna cook everything as far in advance as you can because you want it to cool it down before you put it on the pizza. I made that mistake. And you figure, you know, well, it's spinach. How much can it hurt? Stow! <laughs> <laughs> and then what do we got? What else we got? We got cheese. We've got three cheeses here. Here's the blend. Are you ready? Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago cheeses. It's already shredded. Don't be foolish. But let, let you know, let the technology do it for you. And when the Pizza comes out of the oven, different from the cooking olive oil that I'm using. Actually, what are we using today? Avocado oil to cook the spinach. This happens to be Olivari Gourmet. Good friend of mine, Al, works for the company. He sends me this. This is really good extra virgin over the top of the pizza. When it comes out after it bakes, that gives you that extra Italian thing, you know? And uh, that's it. So let me get these things heated up. Let me get everything cooked, and uh, we'll show you as it comes. As I said, my bacon's going. My big pan here is heating up because you're going to put a lot, like I said, a lot of spinach in there. And she'll shrink down on you, so don't get scared when you dump it and it's like, you in there? You know what I mean? Don't worry about it. Trust me on this. Now, three cloves of really nice cloves of garlic. Yeah. Big fat ones, see? They're big fat ones. You're going to smash them, but don't smash them like, you know, like it's one of your X's or something, all right? Just hit it nice and light. And that should be enough to take off the skin. Excellent. Now give it a little bit more of a smash. Just flatten it out because we're going to let that kind of garlic 
aromatic itself. I made up a word because that's what you do when you have your own show. <laughs> there it is. They say it comes in threes, right? Who knew the whole time they were talking about garlic? <laughs> <laughs> How about some oil? Saute this spinach. Now, I got this pan on a medium heat. It's not a lot of heat going on on this pan because I want this to kind of just, I don't want it to shrivel up really fast. No shrinkage, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know when the oil is ready when it ripples. See ripples in it. Meanwhile, stir, stir, stir. Keep your eye. You can do both pots at a time. And I tell you, I wouldn't tell you if you're a beginner to do it that way. But if you've been cooking a little bit, especially if you have like kids and uh, whatever it is and your spouse comes home and everybody's hungry, you got to have five things going. So you kind of get used to it. All right, I'm liking this. I got a ripple going. And it's got a sizzle going, so that's good. The garlic is just for flavor of the oil. But what you're gonna do is when it gets brown, that's when you put in the spinach. Brings the temperature down so the garlic doesn't burn. Continue to saute the spinach with that oil in the garlic, a little bit of salt, and you're pretty much done. Now, meantime, I have two cans of, believe it or not, just go into your supermarket. These are whole baby clams in a can. They're not really whole. I just want to tell you, they're not really whole. <laughs> but they're clams. And you're going to be cooking the you know what out of them at 500 degrees so they don't have to be these. If you want to do it, go get the fresh clams. You know, have the guy open them for you and you can buy them whole in these big fat holes. You can do that too, but I have to say, it's for flavor. You know, if you want clams, go out and get like spaghetti and clams, but it's just a clam essence that you're doing. So anyway, I have these two 10 ounce cans draining right here. Yeah. See, rinse them off, it's a little gritty. This, you know, comes from the sea. At least so you know they're real, right? And uh, just drain them and have them ready and then all this stuff goes on the pizza. All right, back to my garlic. Try to turn it without hurting yourself. Keep it moving, keep it moving. You can smell it already, it smells great. And the bacon's getting there. There's my garlic right here. When it gets that color brown, that's when you put in the spinach, which is what we're gonna do now. All right, guys, I'm liking it. All right, now I got a big pan here, so I might not have to do it in too many shifts, if you know what I mean. Keep the garlic in there, it's okay. Now I'm gonna turn this down just a little. And that spinach now is just naturally bringing down the temperature, so you're not gonna have burnt garlic. With that bitter garlic taste, you're going to have nice, delicious, caramelized garlic flavor. It's going on this prepared paper toweling. Go about three layers of paper toweling. It won't make it through to the counter, don't worry. At least that's what I tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it. So let's let that bacon fat just kind of chill out a bit, you know? It's getting me all excited with that smell in here. You have no idea what the smoky, delicious, garlicky smell. <laughs> <laughs> all right, keep this going. Okay, I'm gonna show you the spinach. That's it, see? When it starts to really get wilted and all of it gets wilted the same way, you don't wanna cook it all the way through because say it together, 500 degrees. <laughs> all right. Now we're gonna grab this garlic out of here. Now everything just needs to chill out and cool. I got my clams are draining. I have my spinach cooling down and I have my bacon cooling down. We're gonna go an hour and a half on this rise, as I said, and then we're gonna cut it in two and make two pizzas. So let's go up to the next step when we get to the next step. Well, I gotta tell you, she rose on you, Johnny. Doubled in size. You can see that, right? Uh, Beautiful, supple, bouncy, it's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of eyeball this. We're making two pies, right? So we're gonna eyeball it, we're gonna cut it in half. And uh, I have this, what they call a peel. This is what you see, well, this is the small home version of what you see in the pizza places. There's lots of cornmeal on there, as you could see. And uh, 
it's because it's kind of a wet dough. I mean, I like a wet dough because it rises a little bit more. And uh, so we're going to cut that in half and we're going to place it on this peel. If you don't have a peel, you can use a non-rimmed cookie sheet and you could put some parchment paper down on that and just kind of work it out to, oh, I don't know, 10, 12 inches. And it'll make a nice, thin, crispy crust after it's baked at that 500 degrees between five and 10 minutes, depending on your oven or if you have a stone. My oven is just starting to warm up. So we're gonna be uh, ready for action in just a little bit. So I have all my ingredients here. Remember that bacon? It remembers you right there, see? And look how small that spinach got. Talk about shrinkage, wow. And there's my drained, canned, whole baby clams, which really aren't whole, but you know, We'll talk to Bumblebee later about that. <laughs> and we're gonna split everything down the middle. I'll just eyeball it in half. And my three cheese. Here's my three cheese cheese, my three cheese cheese. Star of the show, right here. So uh, I'm gonna cut it in half, like I said. Make a ball and then start spreading it out either on your cookie sheet or on your peel, whichever you have. And then we'll show you how we arrange the toppings, which is really cool. Look at that. Man, I could just like, oh. All right, very simple. Now here's the fun part. It's all fun, but this is really fun. Cheese, as much as you want. Start on the outer edge and try to get as close as you can because you just don't want cheese like in the middle like a bullseye, you know what I'm saying? That's good enough. And now we're gonna go with, I don't know, what do I wanna do next? Eeny, meeny, miny, clams. <laughs> I ball it, stick your big fat fingers in there like I got and just do half of it, that's all. Same thing, start on the outside, clams, down. And now I think I'll go with half the spinach. Now I squeezed out, there's still a little bit more moisture. Don't be afraid to squeeze it out. Just don't do it on the floor because you don't want that moisture as it bakes to seep into your dough. You don't want that, that's good. And if you use a frozen spinach, which you can, you could twist that up in a paper towel after with the frost is fine. And um, you see, that's I, I'm using my hands here because you have to pick things apart. And if you use tongs or a fork or whatever, you know, utensils, it's not gonna give you that evenness of cover. And now half of this bacon, <laughs> it's a lot of bacon. It's five ounces of bacon per pie, steals. And just gotta go around the, around the horn, as they say in baseball. Another spot of cheese, a spot of cheese, dear, over the top, just a little bit. Now, I did say before that I was gonna do the olive oil after it came out. Changed my mind, changed my mind. I want the olive oil, now you wanna get a spout, if I can show you, you see these little spouts here? If you don't have this on your bot, a lot of them have it these days, uh, you gotta be really careful when you pour it then. And I'm just, I mean, watch this, it's just a ridiculous drizzle around the horn, as I said, and done. It's just gonna add another full, rich olive taste. It's Italian. All right, so this is gonna go on that stone when this hits 500, and I leave it in there, the stone that is. I'll leave it in there another 15 minutes after it warms up. Yeah, let's zero in on this baby. Ready for the oven. I took my hand and I just kind of slightly pushed everything down so it kind of melts in there with the cheese. It's beautiful. Huh, wait till you see it when it's done. You think it looks good now? Ho ho! It's been about 10 minutes. I turned it after five minutes, just turned it 180 degrees. And here it comes. Now you could keep it in longer than this or shorter than this, depending on how crispy you like it. I'm using this pan. Actually, it's a cookie sheet because I have the second pie ready to go on the peel. See, look at that, look at that. Let's bring it over before we slice this sucker up. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Connecticut, do you smell that? Where are you? You searched it, we made it. Uh, Italian, clam, bacon, three cheese, spinach. Little garlic too, yeah, you saw that. Pizza, pie. Uh, my gosh. Um, look, I'm not gonna mess around. I'm gonna slice it right up here. Let's take care of that now. Right across here. Move it around. 
right across here. Move it around. Ah, it smells delicious. The garlic in that spinach is lending itself to the clams and even the bacon. It's crazy. Okay. Let's see if I can break it apart here. Oh, you hear that crunch? Here. You hear that? And it's airy inside and it's crispy. And the bottom looks like, well, that. Can you see that? Here we go. See? Ah, oh, it's really hot and delicious. Here we go. Oh, this is a must. Connecticut, you were number six on the list. I hope you guys try this all over the country, not just Connecticut. Oh, I know my friend Judy V, who does a lot of cooking, thanks to her mom. It's a long story. Anyway, she's watching, and uh, I hope she does it also. I hope you all do it. Please, don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell. And uh, without any further ado, Instagram. Awful. It's it's bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, where will it take us? Nobody knows. Come see me. Come see me. Back on YouTube. Watch my other videos also. Come to Facebook. Chef Sells Crazy Cooking Show on Facebook. And drop a line in the comments. Let me know how you made out. Giving this a try. Oh, boy. Anyway, I'm Chef Sell. I gotta go. I got things to eat here. We'll see you next time. No matter where I chance to be Connecticut is the place for me.